Hello everyone, it's me Peter from DJ Service. In today's video I'm going to show you how to clean the CCD or most likely CMOS sensor on this kind of camera. This is compact camera model Panasonic model DMC FS16 which is uh, uh, okay from my point of view the camera is okay but it's not the best camera you can get but anyway for this kind of uh, specification on the, and the extras it's okay it's not known in Bulgarian uh, market but anyway the customer complained that there is uh, strange objects in the final pictures which is uh, after checking the service which is uh, not uh, it's not uh, there is no odd explanation except that there is uh, some dust inside uh, the lens and uh, most likely on the surface in the CMOS sensor. So now you can see in the video that we are now on stage that we should uh, disassemble the camera. You see the front cover, the back cover. Now we are disassembling the LCD panel, which is hooked with uh, the back panel. This is a special metal tape, metal, sorry, metal piece is uh, now it's take it off. So there is uh, two flexible cables. The first one you see, this is the cable for the CMOS sensor. And we, now you see that we are taking off the first from the connector and after that you see that okay very careful in this stage on that stage because uh, the flexible cable is not so strong and you should be aware for the cutting or cracking or Okay, now you see this is the sensor. I'm not sure that you can see in the ca in that. Now you see that there is a small piece of dust. I don't know what is it, but anyway, somehow this. Pieces inside in the in the lens. So now we are we proceed with the disconnecting of the flexible cable cable for the LCD panel. Okay, now we have it. Proceed with caution. Everything is okay now. So we should clean also. You will see that there is a additional dust inside in the. In the lens, in the lens, this is the first lens, or let's say this is the lens after the sensor. After short cleaning, we are proceed. We proceed with the assembling of the camera. So now we put back the screws which holds the CMO sensor. The, there is a three screws. This is the second screw. Now you'll see. Okay, this is the third. There is no there is no special adjustments here. You should put all together. We will exchange in the video. I will exchange the tape for the CMOS sensor and now I use this tape in place where is the LCD panel flexible cable what is the reason so the reason is that this this part 
you will see it's not so it's not designed good enough so in my experience with this uh, with this kind of cameras from Panasonic uh, let's say 100 not but 80% of the cameras have problem with the connectors of the LCDs so for my security reason I will exchange the tape now now is the time yes this is the tape yes this is the position okay carefully hook the LCD panel as should be in place carefully yes now we, we have it okay so yes this piece of plastic it's it's not from my point of view this piece of plastic is not good from quality and it's not good for his position because you now you see there is a connector which is Uh, yeah, this is the, the keyboard it's important it's the important piece so this piece of plastic is not it's not good so but anyway if you put it in the right position everything will be okay so you will not be suffer with this kind of defects or this kind of problems in the future Okay, anyway, let's proceed with the assembling of the camera. There is a one screw here. This is the plastic cover from the lateral side. Okay, there is a two, two screws here, one on the bottom, and this is the second one, which, has, which are with the different uh, models of the screws. Here there is a four screws. This is the first one. Second one. So you will see that there is nothing there is no big deal there. So thank you for your attention. Please subscribe to our channel and see you soon with more videos. Thank you.